Area hospitals and health centers tell us today they didn't see a huge jump yet of walk-ins due to the hot weather, but plenty of people obviously still feeling the heat. Medical reporter Liz Bonus explains why. Hey there, everybody. Area emergency rooms have seen a rise in complications. They tell us mainly from dehydration, which is where sometimes IV fluids are needed to rehydrate the body in an emergency situation. They are tracking heat related complications in this kind of heat, and they say the body temperature can climb quickly. You know, um, on some days it is bad. Um, today is obviously very hot. Christopher Wyatt says as a valet at this tri-health office in Kenwood, he can feel the heat. Just after two or three minutes, for sure. That's one of the reasons providers at area hospitals and health care centers told me they were most concerned today about those who have chronic health problems that can be exacerbated by the heat. If you have diabetes, you have hypertension, asthma, COPD, if you have cancer or some type of immunocompromised uh, condition, autoimmune condition, those are individuals we're going to have an extra special eye on. The team warning all of us that tracking your numbers is critical in heat that we are all feeling these days. Oh, very sweltering. It feels like a sauna. And when it's this hot, if you notice sudden skin rashes, muscle spasms, headaches, dizziness, or nausea, you should reach out for medical attention. Now, quick reminder, you may want to go to urgent care if you do need help. They, too, have the ability to provide immediate medical attention like this. Guys?